Hey everyone, it's Laura here with Fluorescent, and I'm excited to walk you through a brand new feature in Stiletto called Sibling Product Swatches. Currently in Shopify, your product options allow you to add variants of your products with separate prices and inventory tracking. But what if you want your variants to have separate descriptions, different images, or even unique details? Well, Sibling Swatches gives you a way to do that. This new functionality allows you to group similar products together on one product page and view those individual options without having to return to the collection page. For example, you might sell a t-shirt in four different colors, but want them each to have their own unique product page and details. With the new Sibling Products feature, you can link these together using meta fields so that your customers can view all four product options as variant swatches. Let's take a look at how this is currently set up in our craft demo to help you visualize this setup. You'll see here that our wine cup comes in two different color options, anthracite and stone. We want customers to be able to see both available options regardless of which of those product pages they're on, which is where this new feature becomes handy. By implementing this siblings feature, you can now see both options as variant swatches and toggle between them seamlessly. Now that you have a better understanding of this feature, let's take a look at how to set this up in your shop. By the end of this tutorial, we'll have you feeling like a Shopify pro. First things first, we'll want to create a new collection with the products you want to group together. For this tutorial, we'll use our Dinner Bowls products, which come in two different color options that you can see here. We'll click on Collections and then the Create Collection button. Name your collection, here we'll use Dinner Bowl Siblings, and choose either Manual or Automated Collection to add your products. We'll use Manual for this setup. Now add your products to the collection, which will group them together as siblings. Step one is now complete. Now that your collection is set up, we'll get our meta field options set up as well. Click on settings and then scroll down to meta fields and open that section and then click on products. Go ahead and click on add definition. This first meta field is what will link the collection we've just created up to our product group. We'll name this meta field siblings collection. In the namespace in the key field, change the word custom to stiletto, as you can see here in our example. Then click on select content type and scroll down until you see the collection option. Choose this one and then click save. Use the back arrow to return to the meta field screen and click add definition again. This is the meta field where we'll define the name that appears on the product page as swatches for each product. So we'll name this meta field sibling option name. Similar to our previous step, make sure to replace custom with stiletto in the namespace and key field. Now we'll click on select content type and this time we'll choose single line text, then click save. We're almost there. If you've made it this far, you're doing great. Just a couple more steps and you'll be all set. This is the last step and we'll connect all the work you've just done so that everything appears properly in your store. Let's go back to our product section and open the product listings that we want to group. So first we'll open Dinner Bowl Anthracite and scroll down to the bottom of the page. In the Sibling Option Name field, we'll use Anthracite. Then in the Sibling Collections field, we'll choose our Dinner Bowl Siblings collection that we made in the first step. Then click Save. Repeat this step for all other products that you want to include as part of this siblings group. Now that everything is set up, let's hop into our theme editor just to make sure it's all appearing properly. We'll navigate to one of our Dinner Bowl products to open that product page. You'll now see that the two color options appear in the product form as swatches and that you can toggle between the two individual products without leaving the page. If you're not seeing these swatches, please make sure your variant selection block is not hidden. And there you go, you did it. You've now successfully created your first set of sibling products. Please see the video description for a link to this documentation in our help center, as well as contact information for our support team in case you run into any issues.